Luca hates this guy. In the article, Luca pretty much says, I hate Bob Volga- Bob Volgares. He wasn't interviewed for this, but early on in the article, uh, when Bob Volgares kind of puts, after Luca turns the ball over, Volgares shows his emotion on the sideline and kind of gives a, a like, oh, I can't believe, and, and motioning downward to Luca to calm down. And Luca says, don't effing tell me to calm down. And then oh, in a New York Knicks great. game, when they were down by 10 points with limited time left, Volgaris left. And then Lucas said, see, that dude quits on us. He doesn't believe in us. He's a quitter. <sighs> so Luca hates this guy. And that's the one that I was like, so, oh, dear. Yeah, And, and I think the, the point there is like, what happens whenever, because Lucas signed the, the Supermax, right? Well, he's going he's to. He's going to sign. It's not available yeah. yet. He's, whenever it's available, he's signing that sucker. Right. But he might get an opt-out earlier than we think. And that's that's the like that's the part that you're like, hey, how do you keep that from happening? Because we were spoiled with, with Dirk, right? We had Dirk. And he was never going anywhere else. Luca wanted to be a Maverick, you know, like kind of made his way to here in the draft. He really did want to become a Maverick. And then you got... Something like this going on where Mike talks about depicting lineups, rotations, and the guys on the team are like, I'm doing everything I'm being asked to do, and Rick still like is putting me on, but he's get he's not even the voice anymore. Like right. we know that this guy's the guy. So why are we even concerned with what Rick's telling us to do? So Rick loses yeah. Mike, as you were saying, mid season, it looks like the guys don't even want to play for him. But then you add this to the element. This is Mike, I think this is the biggest point here. Okay. Multiple leagues, league and team sources point to the 2020 draft as a particularly egregious example of Volgaris's power. Oh? One said it was embarrassing. Most of members of the scouting department joined the team's war room remotely through Zoom and were surprised when Volgaris, attending in person, didn't consult them for either of the team's first two <laughs> selections. Awesome. Josh Green and Tyrell Terry, despite disagreements they held with at least one of the players he picked. But he didn't even consult him. He was just like, hey, I'm here. We're we're taking these guys. Even though there were people in that room that disagreed with what it. What a waste of time if is, I'm a scout. Is that bad? Yes. I just wanted to the, and, shout out Reggie there. And I know there are people out there that are going, this is JD. Like th- There are people out there that are listening to what we're saying. They're like, how did JD work his way in and all of a sudden just rise to the top like that? Right. It was because he could provide the statistical information that – let you win 51% of the time, Mm. right? You know, that's, he could provide you just enough to make you go, well, that's, that's quantifiable. What do you got? And Nolan's over there going, I got gut. And that's what Rick Carlisle and Donnie Nelson are saying. I I was able to get, you know, work a trade for Chris stops. I was able to find Dirk. I was able to get Luca. These things happen. And I, because I have instinct for this and this guy's like, but I got numbers that back up everything that I do. This is scary. As a Mavericks fan and a Luka fan, this is a scary article that we might be as bad or worse than the Dallas Cowboys organization. We might be as bad or worse than the Cleveland Cavaliers organization that people say, well, LeBron had to leave. Look how dysfunctional the organization was led by the owner. And I don't know this. I'm hoping we can get Mark Cuban on this week to talk about this article because this is a scary article where it says that there's poor relationships Luca has with key members of the franchise, including Volgaris. That means he has more relationships that Luca doesn't like in this organization. Yeah. Like it, it's, it says not just Volgaris, which there's a bad relationship, and it points out how much Luca hates this guy, but it says he has other relationships he doesn't like here. So am, am, am I naive to think immediately, well, if it's Luca against whoever that person has to go. I, I would, like, is that too simplistic of a way to view I, it, though? I, I, I view it that way. Like, I think Rick Carlisle is a good to great coach. But if Lucas says, I don't like him, then you get a new coach. I mean, that's because that's very how simple. good he is. Yes, that's Magic Johnson didn't like his coach that led him to a championship, so they got Pat Riley. I'm 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 fine with that if Lucas says that. I I don't. It's not the best way, but if if Luca doesn't like somebody, you get rid of him because Volgaris ain't winning you jack squat. Luca can. And isn't that like let's say it's the coach if you if you're throwing the coach out there because there was some like he didn't Luca didn't love some of the way that he you know held the reins tightly on mm-hmm. him and Rick Carlisle. At one point, because he's seen what happened, here's the quote. You can't win against the next Nowitzki, so I will step out of the way and coach the team 
but I'm not going to try and win a battle against Luca. Like I'm going to lose every time against that guy. But ha- somehow he still has to gain and garner the respect of the team, mm. while also ha- you know being able to to work with the ego that comes along with one of the greatest players in the NBA right now. I- <laughs> this is bad, guys. It's a- it sounds like Mike. It sounds like. And and I know we didn't see this directly on the court because Luca's that good, but it sounds like what's going on all throughout the Mavericks, the whole franchise is there is a disruption, and it sounds like it starts with this one guy. Okay, and I do. And I, whether or not Mark Cuban understands like which one of these people is most important or helps. Him. 